Hello and thank you for tuning in to Millennium Movies. Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the second trailer that we got for Glass. And I gotta say, man, it looks emotional, it looks suspenseful, and it looks thrilling. This is everything that I was hoping for, for the sequel to Glass. And, of course, the third part in this M. Night Shyamalan trilogy of movies that, of course, is with the uh, Unbreakable split and now Glass is being the third and final film in the trilogy. So, yeah, man, let's just go ahead and get right into all the goods that we had in this trailer. So, yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, go watch the trailer and then come back so you can listen to my breakdown. So let's just get right into it. I want to say the thing that I noticed first off, the, first off the bat was that it looks like Bruce Willis is trying again. And, you know, I like Bruce Willis. You know, I'm a big fan of a lot of his older movies, but, like, a lot of his recent stuff has – it just hasn't been as good as I know that he's capable of putting on a performance as good as, you know, like the first Unbreakable or, like, you know, Die Hard. You know, his, his latest movies haven't been his best performances, but it looks like he's really trying, and I think that's – I think you have to chalk that up to M. Night being such a great director – and, and having such a good relationship with Bruce that he's getting him to put it all out there for this for this film. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing Bruce Willis' performance. And speaking of Bruce Willis, I like that in this trailer, you know, he's kind of like telling, I think, Sarah Paulson that, you know, are they – so they're just not going to let me out of here? Like he's not – he's not a bad guy. He's not a villain because this whole, this whole story is about heroes and villains. You know, these people with like these meta – these meta powers like superhuman strength like the beast or incredible intellect like um like samuel jackson's character elijah mr glass so you know i like that he's like really I, you're you have me in here with these two crazy people but basically you know they're all kind of trapped in there and it looks like sarah paulson is going to be a real pain in the neck for all three of them in in in, in getting in their way of what each of them wants to do like and getting in front of what they're – the goal that they're trying to accomplish. So I'm pretty sure that that's going to be you know, a fun play back and forth, seeing how Sarah Paulson reacts based off of who she's in front of, whether it's, of course, Mr. Glass or, or James McAvoy's Barry or Bruce Willis' character. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing that and seeing her performance in here because she's really good in American Horror Story. But uh, moving on from that, I do want to say going back into the beginning of the trailer, we see that Elijah, Mr. Glass, is like – in this like state of like chronic depression he's like not moving at all they're talking about how he's been heavily sedated and he doesn't feel like doing anything until he sees that he has two new roommates and you can see him crack like a bit of a sinister smirk where he's like okay i can have some fun now after all these years i got two new people to mess with and i can i can possibly use one or both of them to try and get myself bust myself out of here and it looks like as the trailer goes on that that's most likely what Mr. Glass is going to try and do is he's going to try and use uh, James McAvoy's character of the Beast, one of his split personalities. He's going to try and use the Beast to break him and uh, the Beast out of there. And and you can see in this shot right here uh, with uh, Samuel Jackson in the wheelchair, you know, he's all, you know, he's looking all super fresh and stuff. You can see behind him that, you know, the Beast is like, just completely throwing these guards, like tossing them around like they're like they're completely weightless. So it looks like that's what's going on. It looks like Mr. Glass is going to use the beast to try and break themselves out because he even mentions it sounds like the villains are teaming up. So and so when they break out, it looks like Sarah Paulson's character is gonna have no choice but to put her trust and faith in Bruce Willis's character to be the hero to put an end to uh Mr. Glass and the beast is uh, you know, all their troubles that they're causing. And Speaking of uh, other characters, though, I cannot wait to see the return of Anya Taylor Joy, who was in the Split movie, who was one of the uh, who was one of the people that uh, Barry captured. But you can see her, and she's standing here, and it looks like they're probably going to call upon her to to try and help out, like maybe try and help tame the beast, maybe try and you know uh, use her to get to Barry's other personalities. Uh, I would who who knows, but. A lot of cool shots in this trailer. Like I said, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And maybe this trailer gave away a little bit too much, but you know what? I, I think that's I think that's perfectly okay because you know what? I'm, I'm going to see this movie day one. I cannot wait. Um, one last thing before I, I move on from this video is that I wanted to talk about this last shot right here where uh, the Beast – looks like the Beast tackles um, 
Bruce Willis outside of like a, a glass window. Uh, get it? Glass? The movie title? Glass? Uh huh. Uh huh. See, sorry, bad joke, but yeah, it looks like he tackles him through and they like disappear. Where they disappear through the mist, and it's just a, it's just such a cool looking shot to end the trailer on. So yeah, everything that I'm seeing so far in in these glass trailers that we've only gotten two trailers, but everything that I've seen from both of them, man, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And 2019 is going to be such a big year for horror. You can bet that Millennium Movies is going to be talking about all the horror movies that we can expect in 2019. So split this split sequel called Glass is going to release in January of 2019. So it's actually not even that far much uh, away. It's not that much of a wait. So yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, guys, go ahead and leave a like on this video because it does help on my small channel a whole bunch. And... If you like this type of movie news content, I, you know, I got a bunch of other videos like this on the channel. Yesterday, yesterday I just did another trailer review, so you might want to check that out for Pet Cemetery. I've got some other videos talking about It Chapter 2 and the new Child's Play reboot that's coming on, an Annabelle 3 video, and a whole bunch of other horror-related movie news and TV news on the channel. Also, as well, if you're still sticking around with this, please let me know. I'm thinking about doing a, a, a Halloween special video for Scary Stories. So if you guys would want to listen to a Scary Stories Halloween special video, please let me know so I can go ahead and get started on that very soon to get that out for the day of Halloween. Also, if you're still here, you might have noticed that there's a short film on my YouTube channel that I put out a while back called The Mask. Well, basically, I'm rebooting that short film, and I changed the script, and I've got new directors, and we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make it better. It's going to be a lot of fun. And that is going to be releasing the week of Halloween, so be sure to stick around for that because you're not going to want to miss it. I promise you. Anyways, guys, this has been Millennium Movies, and I will see you all very soon.